Now, it will show you the functioning of the podium when it's totally open. When the faculty is there at the podium, here you see everything is up and running. Now, whichever faculty comes in, you can adjust the interactive monitor, which is a touch monitor, as per his convenience toward any angle through a motorized angle adjustment. Now, I just want to show you this particular monitor is a special monitor which is pen touch. So your whole mouse control is with the pen and we just show you and this is connected to a projector. So whatever we are doing out here, this is a case, okay. Now, just uh, Vinod, can you repeat everything once again? See, whatever we do with the help of pen is being shown at the back of the screen depending what projector or screen you are using. Yes, and here the same is used for writing purpose also. So the teacher will be facing the students and whatever he will be doing on the podium will be coming back at the screen. There you go. Okay. This is how. And I want to show you that particular, this time, this particular monitor is connected with the PC which is beneath, inside the podium. And now we have a controller plus switcher over here. Over there, we can connect three sources. As you can see, we have three sources in the podium. One is the PC beneath it. Second is the laptop, third is this visualizer and now when we have to switch, so if someone has come with a laptop and they want to use their laptop, they can simply connect the laptop at the switcher itself. Here you see we can connect with the HDMI or a VGA, whichever. There is a power plug if the laptop is running out of battery, we can use the same power plug. You can see there is a USB key, uh, ports. These USB are connected directly to the PC beneath it. So if someone comes with a pen drive, they can simply just insert the pen drive over here. That will be detected. And now, as someone has already come with a laptop, they have connected it at this VJ port. We can connect with the HDMI also. And if we have to switch just by a press of a button, we will switch from PC to laptop. Now we press this. So see now, the laptop comes over here. Now this is the laptop, which was, see that now the laptop is connected. And if you see at the back, at the screen, the same has come up too. So it's just of a press of a button, you can switch from one source to the other. As you see, we switched from PC to a laptop. The same way, this will be now for this visualizer. Can you please do this? See now, this is the visualizer which has come as you can see at the back screen also and this visualizer has got the optical zoom. We will see to you right now, you see the screen in front of you. Now we will, this is an optical zoom, we are zooming it and you will see the clarity still remains. Can you please do some more? And it is auto focus. So, this is how everything works. It becomes very simple. Here it all looks like. And as you can see, there's a projector at the back in a classroom. It is in the same manner. But yes, a more bigger screen will be there. And this way. And we change. And the control. We want to show you one more thing. Uh, can you please stop it? Yes. With the help of this controller, this motorized screen up and down is controlled from here itself. You don't have to bother to work with the extra remote or extra switch or so. Press again. Yeah, see so it's coming down. Stop it. Please and uh, pull it back. There you go. So from this switcher come controller, you can control this also. This motorized screen up and down. At the same time, you can also control projector on off. Stop it and pull it back again. See, 
So all the controls are at the podium, so it becomes very easy for the faculty to work with this podium. And while going back, he closes everything, switch off everything, close, as shown in the video earlier, and he moves out. I hope so, we are able to explain the functions of the podiums, the way it works in a class. Thank you.